<laughs> Welcome back. Oh. You know, it looks fun, but costume jewelry, is it really worth anything? Oh. Well, some are worth more than others. Our next guest can break down what's good and what's probably going to go to the bin. Yeah, oh boy. It's Neil Sackmary of Nevada Coin Party. Yeah. He joins us. He's back. And he's here to Singing talk about a duet. Yes. costume Sorry. jewelry, which I love. I'm a big fan. Yes. Big fan. Big fan. Me All too. Right. Love so, costume jewelry too. Let's start out with a yes. fact. A okay, question coming to you. Okay. Can costume jewelry make or break the bank though? Well, so it can do both. Okay. So the thing is that most costume jewelry is unsigned. It's generic. We bought it at, you know, uh, some store or something like this. And so that is purchased by the pound when we mm. buy it at the store. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now... If you have better costume jewelry, so sometimes that's from the 1930s and 40s, Ooh. Eisenberg, Miriam Haskell, Weiss, things like this, that can increase your bank account. All you need is a few pieces. Now, the other side of that is this. Every day in the, in, in, all over the world, mm -hmm. there are TV shows selling costume jewelry that is name brand. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, sure. Heidi yeah, Douse yeah. and things like this. Right. And so you could have something very old mm -hmm. that has value. Mm -hmm. You could have something that you just bought last week on one of those TV shows and that has value too. Oh. And, and so it's not just a matter of you know, all costume jewelry has a value. It's a matter of if it's bought by the pound or by the piece. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is that every time that somebody comes in, we sort through the costume jewelry one piece at a time looking for that. And so the best part about it is that it happens more times than not. And the, the beautiful thing about what, what you do is uh, not a lot of places can you bring costume jewelry and they even accept it, period, mm. full stop. They'll just mm. say, nah, it's not worth Junk. anything junk it you at least give some value for everything right and, yeah. and so the thing is that you know it's one thing to take your jewelry box into a, into any other establishment and you and, and they go and they dump it out and they go through it and they buy the gold and they buy the silver and they say everything else throw in the garbage yeah. mm -hmm. because this happens all the time yeah. but what we're not taking into account is that that costume jewelry does have value now some of it has less value than others such as life but at the end of the day, it all does have value. And so this is why it's very important, you know, no matter what pieces you have, they have some form of a value. Mm -hmm. And that's why you got to bring it in so that we can evaluate it and give you the best price. I'm curious. So I have a bracelet out here, oh, actually. Here um, do most... Even costume jewelry, do they usually put a signature on it, or the, how do you the, exactly know where it comes well, from? Well, so they, they actually, uh, most, does, yeah. most of them do. You know, when you have a piece of jewelry or anything in this world, right, mm -hmm. um, you're very proud to put your name on it. Of course. Yeah. And so what happens is that, it, you know, Brighton, Okay. Of course, okay. Brighton so is a, lo huge. a lot of people have Brighton jewelry, but Brighton has value. It's not just bought by mm. the pound. And so it's very, very important. So when sure. something that has a name is worth more than, you know, maybe you went out for the evening with your friends and you bought a pair of earrings, you know, at one of these stores for $3 or something. Sure. You know, just generic stuff. Yeah. Okay, that stuff's bought by the pound. I mean, they made $82 million of it. But when something has a name and that name makes me be able to sell it for more money, then we're interested in paying more money. Mm -hmm. And so that's why costume jewelry does have tremendous value. You can have a Heidi Dow's piece that is costume jewelry, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and it could be worth hundreds of dollars. And so we're trained that when we think of gold, we think yellow. When we think of silver, we think white. Mm -hmm. And then anytime anybody would say to you, I have costume jewelry, you'd say, oh, it has no value, throw in the garbage. Yeah. But that's not the case. Yeah. And so that's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of brands, and I have a full list on the website, so you mm -hmm. can go there, you can read all about the different brands and see what you have and stuff like that. But costume jewelry has tremendous value. Absolutely, Ooh, and of course, exciting. if you come across maybe a box of uh, uh, in inherited jewelry, you're wondering, you know, uh, what do I what do I do with all this stuff? You can bring it to. We don't have to polish everything and make it look pretty pretty when we bring it to you. Mm. We can just bring the box and say, what do I have? Exactly. Yeah. And so we do that for you. We sort it for you for free. And sometimes uh, and, and the real stuff gets mixed in with the costume jewelry you don't even realize. Well, and let me just mm. tell you that, um, so 14 karat gold is 58.5% gold. Yeah. yeah. That's what we most have in the United States, 10 okay. and 14 karat. Mm -hmm. So gold filled jewelry has value as gold and has value as as uh, an antique piece of jewelry. Mm -hmm. And so most places that buy gold, 
they don't even take into account the antique value yeah. of the gold fill jewelry. And so that's why we specialize in antique and vintage jewelry. We also buy the Rolex watches and all that, but uh, you know, we, we specialize in the antique and vintage type of jewelry. Of course. Wave to the people. Yeah. Neil, our time has come to an end. Hey, is it junk or is it actually worth some money? This guy, Neil Sackberry, can tell you. You get your costume jewelry evaluated at Nevada Coin Mart. Neil's at Jones and Flamingo. JonesandFlamingo.com is his exact place on the web. Ah. Go there. Nevada Coin Mart, proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.